and welcome back. This is Brother Scuba with another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. I am joined as always by my party of Fallout Luke, Finny, and Nob, and we're still in Mount Gulg. Uh, and we're now on Basement 3. Uh, here, we want to go right as much as we can. Um, try to save as, as much HP as we can every every step that we s that we go on the on the lava hurts as you might expect do we have new enemies here no no we do not but basically the general idea of what we want to do on this floor is go as far right as we can and there are the stairs all right down the stairs we go and yes there's there's not much room for error here you you pretty much have to go on the lava yeah it's not that fun I believe we still have to go right here. Oh, but we do have enemies here. These are hellhounds. These are new enemies. And they have blaze. Which, you know, it doesn't do that much damage, but it does it to everybody. Which is not cool. Not cool at all. Oh, not enough. Fallout is not enough to kill him this time. I bet, oh, I bet that is. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Uh, Fallout and Finny team up to take them out. Uh, we get a decent amount of experience and gill out of that. And we want to go... Yes, there are the stairs. Back up to basement three. And... Let's, let's try to go this way first. Hopefully there's something over here, like treasure or something. Do we have no these are these are repeats. I do want that treasure. Hopefully there's something here. Because I want the treasure. Uh jeez. No 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 way to get around that. Ugh. And I got a level up from that fight. That is awesome. Um why do I get a feeling I'm going in uh, German? Yeah, I have a feeling I'm going in a big circle here. Oh, looks like there's a way down here. Ugh. And this, yeah, this this place is a grind, mostly because of the lava. I do, I have used almost all of my potions. Yeah, it's not fun. Oh, I bet there's, oh, no fight there. We get a gold needle, which does cure stone, uh, but it is outrageously expensive. And what's this? We have a fire lizard that does a massive amount of damage. And I want it to die. We can't kill it with fire, so we kill it with punches to the face. And that's usually enough to get it to go down. Okay, what else have we got? We've got more lava. Yeah, you'll have to heal often for this one. What do we have here? Uh, some more gill. Okay. All right, and we want to go up and to the left now. Ugh. Every step that I take in the wrong direction pisses me off. Is this scripted? I don't think so, but yeah, no. Now these are regular enemies down here now. And what do we get in all these chests up here? We get an antidote, 880 gill, ice brand, and that looks like a scripted fight to me. It's not though. And in these two chests here, we get a flame shield and 7,000 gill. I do want to get that ice brand on to Fallout. As you can see, it's it's even better than, than the flame sword, so it is the best thing that he's got. Plus, I want to get the, the flame shield on him because I believe that does, uh, that protects him against the fire damage that these guys are dishing out. Okay. Now we want to make our way back uh, to that chest where, or that room where we were before, and go the other way. So we want to go down and to the right, and there's our next, our next place right there. And what treasure do we have in here? We have ten gill. This is a scripted fight. It's just a lava worm. Um, so I guess I'll show it off because it's scripted. Um, yeah, he does a lot of damage. There's the ice brand in action for you. Once the loot comes in, though, that should finish the job. Down goes the, uh, the lava worm. Uh, did not think that was actually scripted because it's kind of in a weird spot. Oh, come on! Okay, let's leave this place now. I believe we want to go further south. And I'm officially out of potions. Awesome. 
Uh, we do have another room down here. What do we have here? That looks scripted to me. Uh, just a fire lizard, though. Something that should go down pretty easy. Doesn't do all that much damage when it chooses to hit Fallout these days. And not enough to kill it with just loot, but Fallout comes in and finishes the job. Yeah, he does. But once again, decent amount of gil and experience. Uh, we get a staff and another scripted battle uh, with another fire lizard. I mean, yeah, the game does not want you to get treasure in this game at all. What? Oh, you want what's in the chest? Oh, it's just a shirt. You still want it? Oh, take it. Oh, it's 1250 gil, which is worth it. And we find the next set of stairs. Oh my god. <laughs> There's eight paths. Hold on one second. Okay, the first place we want to go is directly west. Because I know for certain that there is something that I want in here. And I bet it's way at the bottom of this room. Oh, and looks like there's going to be a scripted fight there too. Alright, let's, let's do it! I can handle it, it's no problem. It's... oh my god, it's a dragon. Okay, it's a red dragon. Um, it's got... Uh, kind of yellowish green eyes for the record, but I don't think that's this game. Okay, so I'm gonna go for uh, Ice 2 because it's red, and therefore I think it's a fire enemy. Now's the time not to just get two hits, man. Oh! I kill it before it even gets a shot off! And I get a ton of experience in gold, well a ton of gold for that. And I get flame mail, which I do believe I want to put on him immediately. You know, if it's got fire on it, I shouldn't be uh, susceptible to fire damage. Really. Okay, you guys want to know a secret? Uh, all other seven directions either lead to the boss or to nothing. Yeah, this is the only that was the only direction with actual treasure in it. So we're gonna go straight to the boss. I'm not even gonna mess around. This 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 place has been a grind enough as it is. And we do have a new enemy here. This is a fire gigas. Uh, just like you would expect. It's an upgrade hill gigas. Um, and it goes down pretty easy if you punch it in the face with a critical. So we're gonna go down to the lower left here. And hopefully I have gone the right way. Yes, yes I have. Okay, time to, to heal up as much as I can with uh, with what cure spells I do have left in this. Time to take on this red orb. Alright, that's as healed as I can get. Let's go ahead and take on this red orb. The Earth Venus Gown, who disturbs Merilith Slumber. In the original game, she's known as Carrie, K-A-R-Y. I don't know why they changed it to Merilith. I don't think either name is particularly good. Those who dare disturb me shall burn! Burn! Yeah, she's freaky as hell, isn't she? She's got a snake body, um, six arms, and her sprite before only had four, but she's actually got six. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use Bolt 3 on her and hope that works out for the best. How much damage does that do? 47, so, um, yeah, she's very strong against magic, um, but if Novan attacked, he'd probably only do one damage anyways, so really this is still my best option, uh, just to go for the Bolt 3s. You know, it's my most powerful spell right now uh, that actually does damage, so I'm gonna use it. There you go, if he only does one damage. Uh, 61, holy crap, that's a lot of damage. 87, what the hell? That was not a good attack turn for everybody. Uh, let's go ahead and use that bolt three. Come on! Die! Merilith! 33. Uh, you know, what are you gonna do? Six hits, 41 damage. Now, I don't think she can live more than about two more turns if, if I keep this up. Okay, bolt three's gone. Uh, obviously, don't use fire on her. I'm gonna use ice two. I only have two of those left. After that, I'm pretty much screwed. Yeah, you know, only does 22. Yeah, and she has fire two. Hopefully, that doesn't do too much against Novin. <laughs> 92. He cannot survive another one of those. Uh, so hopefully, she'll go down quickly. Um, do I have another ice two? I have one more. Let's go ahead and use it. Come on, Ice 2 for the win! 39? Not enough for the win. 
Oh, down goes Marilith! In her six armed, not quite glory or anything like that. It, but down she goes! She slow dissolves. And we get 600, yeah, only 618 experience and 3000 gold, or gil. We get more than that in many, many random encounters along the way. But we have found the fire crystal and for some reason fallout is hugging all the glory with the crystals and he gets to show off every single one you show off, you shown off the the earth crystal now and the fire crystal that means somebody here doesn't get a turn uh, i love that scale that little musical scale that's awesome and we've done it, you guys. We've rescued the, the, the fire crystal. I don't know if we've actually rescued it, but we definitely saved it from Marilith, the fire fiend. And yes, we get a warp immediately back, and we need it like nobody's business. Oh, quick. Oh, somebody take me back to Crescent, to Crescent Lake. Oh, my God. I, oh, I might die on the way there. Oh man, okay. So I'm gonna heal up, uh, probably purchase a, f a few more items, a few more magic and that kind of stuff, and then uh, I'll meet you guys outside where we will continue the story next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this part. I hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.